This campsite is the biggest we've ever stayed on. Is it too big? Let's find out. Hi everyone and welcome back to another campsite review. We're just back from a three night midweek stay at the Warren Farm Holiday Park in Breen, Somerset. Warren Farm is one of the largest campsites that we've ever visited with accommodation spread across 15 different fields. It offers a full range of accommodation including statics, seasonal, camping, touring and dedicated disabled pitches. There really is something for everyone here including touring pitches with ensuite facilities. Warren Farm is located within easy reach of the M5 motorway. The site itself is within walking distance of the beach and it's a great location for exploring this stretch of the Somerset coast from Western Supermere to Minehead. After a quick stop at the friendly reception we were directed to field 6 to select our pitch. We had an electric hard standing pitch close to the toilet block. The 9m by 9m pitch was level and a good size to accommodate our sun canopy and windbreak and still to leave some space between us and our neighbours. As you'd expect with a site of this size, there were plenty of water points and bin stations dotted around the site. There are six large toilet blocks spread across the park. Our block was impressive with plenty of showers, sinks and washing cubicles. They were all spotlessly clean and we had no trouble getting a shower or wash cubicle during our stay. The showers were large with a separate changing area and plenty of hot water. Attached to the toilet block are two large washing up stations, including one that has a laundry and ironing facilities. And if you want your own dedicated bathroom, then why not consider an ensuite pitch with their very own toilet and shower. You have several food options on site, including two pubs, a cafe, a traditional fish and chip shop, a Chinese takeaway and an ice cream parlour. There's also a well-stocked shop and larger supermarket on site. The largest of the two pubs is the Beachcomber. As well as food, it also hosts entertainment in the evenings, a mix of musical artists and bingo. The entertainment is very end of the pier, but we thoroughly enjoyed the meatloaf tribute act. They also serve excellent food. We ate there all three nights of our stay and the food was freshly cooked and there was a good selection of options. The beachcomber also has two large beer gardens as well as plenty of seating inside. Alongside the entertainment, there is plenty to do at Warren Farm. There is a large amusement arcade, including the usual coin push machines and grabbers. There's also a free soft play area. Outside, you can find at least five outdoor playgrounds, an outdoor gym and a fishing lake. The beach is just a five minute walk away. It has a wide expanse of golden sand, providing plenty of space for beachgoers to relax, play games and enjoy various activities. The English coast path also runs across the beach and takes you to Western Supermere to the north and Burnham on Sea to the south. We always like to pick campsites for their location as much as their facilities. Here are some great locations to visit within easy reach of Warren Farm. To the north of Breen is Western Supermere, an old Victorian resort with a large sandy beach and plenty of cafes, bars and restaurants along its promenade. A visit to the impressive Grand Pier is also recommended. To the south you'll find Burnham-on-Sea. It boasts a stunning sandy beach that is perfect for leisurely walks, sunbathing, building sandcastles or enjoying a refreshing dip in the sea. The beach is also home to an historic wooden lighthouse built in 1832 called Low Lighthouse. To the east is the beautiful Cheddar Gorge, a stunning natural limestone gorge located in the Mendip Hills and known for its dramatic cliffs, stalactite show caves and rich archaeological and geological history. Head out to the west and you'll get to see the beautiful village of Watchet, the historical Dunster Castle and the charming coastal town of Minehead. Watchet is the small coastal town located in Somerset. It may be lesser known than some of the more famous tourist destinations, but it offers a charming and authentic English seaside experience, including a picturesque medieval arbour. Why not visit Dunster Castle with its spectacular gardens and panoramic views of the surrounding area and Bristol Channel? Minehead is a charming coastal town and offers a range of attractions and experiences that make it a worthwhile destination to visit, including sandy beaches, the West Somerset Railway and the town centre which features a mix of historic buildings, charming streets and traditional shops. So what are our top tips for a stay at Warren Farm? With 15 fields to choose from, for us Field 6 provided all that we needed easy access to all the main amenities and was very quiet midweek. It did get a little more lively on the Friday evening as more families turned up for the weekend. 
There are no dogs allowed on Field 6. If you have a dog, then the next best field is the dog-friendly Field 5. Do pay a visit to the Beachcomber. It offers excellent food and drink, lots of space and a very warm welcome. The entertainment was also very good. A little bit end of the pier, but very entertaining nonetheless. Why not kickstart your day at the on-site Ness's Cafe? They offered a great English breakfast, which was not only tasty, but also reasonably priced. The cafe has both indoor and outdoor seating, so a great way to start your day. Would we stay again? Well, although this was a larger site than we would usually have chosen, and the site did get much busier on the Friday evening, our overall experience was positive. So yes, we will stay again, but would avoid the weekend. We hope you've enjoyed this review, thanks for watching and if you have any questions then please leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help the channel grow. We we'll look forward to seeing you again in another video.